Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Neuroscience Methods. In today's episode, we're going to talk about eye tracking. Eye tracking is an experimental tool that is used in several different scientific fields, such as psychology, psycholinguistics, or marketing. As the name implies, eye tracking involves the tracking of the movements of our eyes. But why is this done? Well, the eye movements that we make on a daily basis can reveal a lot about our underlying mental processes. For instance, in research, advertisers can use our eye movements to determine what aspects of their ads attract our attention. For instance, they can determine whether a certain color attracts attention, whether a certain size of the ad attracts our attention, or whether certain positioning might attract our attention towards the product or the logo. Thusly, advertisers can use eye tracking to determine which aspects of adverts draw the most attention to the product and the logo, etc. Besides advertising, eye tracking can be used in various fields within science to study concepts such as attention, language, memory, and problem solving. So, how do eye trackers actually work? Well, there are a few different types of eye trackers and they can work in a few different ways. One type of eye tracker that is commonly used in research works by following eye positions and eye movements using infrared light. Specifically, an eye tracking device will illuminate the pupil using infrared light. This will generate a reflection on the cornea. The cornea is a transparent part of the eye that covers the front portion of the eye, including the pupil and the iris. The main function of the cornea is to bend light, and it is responsible for the focusing of most of the light that enters the eye. The reflection of the infrared light by the cornea will be recorded by the eye tracker, and the eye tracker will use that to determine the center of the pupil eye rotation and gaze direction. So in simple terms, eye trackers are essentially camera devices that use infrared light to record every eye movement. Eye trackers don't only measure eye movements and positions, they can also measure pupil size. A question that comes up then is, well, why would you measure pupil size? The answer to that is that pupil size can be of interest. Just like eye movements, pupil size can reveal a lot about our underlying mental processes. I'm sure some of you have heard the expression that our pupils become bigger when we see someone we love. Although this may be a bit simplified, pupils can indeed reveal a lot about what's going on in our heads. For instance, research has shown that our pupils tend to become slightly bigger, in other words, they tend to dilate, when we are engaging in a task that is cognitively demanding. Thus, pupils don't only change in size depending on how much light is in our environment, they will also dilate when we, for instance, are doing a difficult math task. By measuring changes in pupil size in response to various stimuli, scientists can learn a lot more about our mental states. As technology advances and eye trackers become cheaper and cheaper, they will likely become more and more prevalent both in research and in other aspects of life. If you like this video, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also feel free to click the notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.